Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. First off, I want to apologize for not uploading a video in quite a while. Very sorry about that, but I've been extremely busy over at TackleFreaks.com and Kentucky Lake Outdoors. Lots of tournaments in town, including the Bassmaster Elite Series, which just concluded today. On to the video. This is my top 10 soft plastics for flipping and pitching. I come about this list by my personal experience advice from the pros and what sells on tacklefreaks.com so if you agree with the list i want to know if you don't i want to know as well be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't let's go ahead and get into the meat of the video and start this list number 10 that is the six inch lizard this is a mr twister super lizard but any six inch lizard is going to work uh, this one's really cool because it's got these three spots on the back but anytime those bass are bedding uh, in the bushes. This is really deadly because bass hate lizards. It's very user friendly, which means you can find a six inch lizard about anywhere. Anybody can fish this. All you need is a Texas rig sinker and a wide gap hook and you're good to go. Uh, what's cool about these dots, and I do want to explain, the reason they do this is so you can actually see the lizard. So in super clear water, uh, if you see any bedding fish when you're up shallow, you can throw this at them and you can still see your bait. It's kind of appealing to bass, and, and they eat this thing. This, this is my favorite. This is watermelon candy with some yellow dots back there. Let's move into number nine. This is a fairly new bait uh, from Jackal. A lot of guys know Jackal as a hard bait company, but they make some excellent soft plastics. This is the Archelon. Very simple. Uh, really bulky, fat uh, body. It's got two small legs back here and one antenna in the center. Uh, it's got some nice ribs here, which displace some water as it's falling down. Very simple bait. One thing I like about this and makes it really popular, it's very streamlined. It's like almost an oversized menace grub, but it's thick and you can put a 5 watt flipping hook in this thing. So a lot of your baits you flip with, the body's not that big, but this one is, which allows you to put that big old flipping hook in it. Very good for flipping and pitching matted vegetation as well because it's very streamlined. Uh, and they got a, a weird scent on them, bass like them. That is the Jackal Archelon. The next bait is probably one of the most underrated flipping baits out there. It's something you see in a lot of pros boats. They don't talk about it a whole lot. Uh, this is the Yamamoto Flapping Hog. And this is the normal, smaller size. My favorite color, Green Pumpkin Magic, so it's got a little gold flake in it. Uh, very small body. That's the only downside to this bait, but it's got all these appendages on the sides, and it's got a really long tail. Uh, creates a lot of motion. Uh, it's not a lot of swimming motion, more of a flapping motion as it falls down, hence the name Flapping Hog. Uh, one thing I do to counteract that really small body is I use this owner twist lock flipping hook and I'll rig this up really really quickly for you to show you and it's only a three aught so most guys like a four or a five aught flipping hook but with this bait this small three aught twist lock is really good and you just screw the centering pin uh, right there in the head of the bait and I love these owner hooks they're super super sharp find out where your hook needs to go in and this three aught it comes in right at the butt of the body and just push it out the back there and I just take expose it nice and center put my half ounce tungsten weight and I go to work a very finessey flipping bait and it catches them uh, like I said a lot of guys don't talk about this but this is uh, kind of a secret amongst the pro guys and I learned this from a guy that fishes here on Kentucky Lake himself Brandon Hunter so Brandon I appreciate the heads up on that one uh, the next bait Really started to see a lot of notoriety. It just came out two years ago, and this is the Zoom Z Crawl. Very simple, very simple to, like the Archelon, a big body, uh, two tails at the bottom, and this one's got two little antennae. Um, this color's called Huckleberry, which is like a green pumpkin and plum mixture. It's pretty cool. Uh, it catches a lot of fish. I, I'm gonna say this isn't a color video, so don't get hung up on any colors I show. These are just ones I pulled out of my personal selection. But the Z Crawl has these ribs on the side. Uh, it's very similar to the old Zipper Crawl uh, from Robo Worm, uh, but it's a very durable plastic. These are cheap, good price, but it comes in and out of the bushes really, really easy. 
and you can always trim it down a little bit back and put it on the back of your favorite flipping jig. That's for another video. So that comes in at uh, number six or seven, I'm sorry, I can't count. Coming in at number six is a bait from Gambler Lures. This is the Gambler Stinger. It is a beaver style bait. Again, it has ribs on it. That's something similar you see a lot in these flipping baits, but this one is really thin. Uh, you can tell when I turn it sideways, it's not thick at all. And that allows that flipping hook to penetrate really, really easy. It's, uh, it's very soft as well. Got the two pinchers on the back. You can actually pull these apart. And then it's got these little bitty flaps at the bottom of the body. Really good bait. It's great in grass, great around wood. Gambler makes some awesome, awesome colors and the best. It comes with that bang scent. Uh, a lot of guys really, really like this bait, especially in Florida, south of Georgia, uh, places in Alabama. Uh, this is a very, very popular bait. I fished it quite a bit, and I've caught a lot of fish on it. No jinx on it, but I've caught a lot of numbers of bass on this bait. Number five, and now we're getting into some old school stuff here. Uh, this is the craw tube. It's not a tube, and it's not a creature bait. It is a craw tube, and this one's from Big Bite Baits, and the best part about this is you get like an eight pack for $3.49 on Tackle Freak. So really great bang uh, for your money. Uh, built like a traditional tube. Uh, the ribs on the outside, it's hollow in the middle. But when I turn it sideways, you'll see it's got these little uh, creature flappers on the, and pinchers. So it gives it a little bit of different action when it's falling, but you still get that uh, crawfish imitator of a tube. So when it's standing on the bottom, see how them little pinchers stand out like that? Oh yeah, that's what the bass sees. He's going to eat that. Uh, this is my favorite color, by the way. This is Confusion. This is green pumpkin with the hematoma laminate. Those are on Tackle Freaks right now. Awesome bait. Rig it up with your favorite uh, flipping hook, 4 aught, 5 aught, And you can get away with like a, a Gamakatsu 5 aught G-Lock hook on these right here. Uh, I'll link all that stuff in the video as well. So that's number five, and that is the craw tube. Number four is a bait that's been around for quite some time. This is the Berkeley, gotta hold it right, Pit Boss. Skeet's Pit Boss. And this bait has been around a long time, uh, specifically the Havoc series of plastics from Berkeley. And this is one of the most popular ones because it just catches fish. It really, it doesn't look like anything if you look at it this way. It just looks like a banana that's been peeled down very simple bait it's basically got four big appendages down here but when you turn it this way you can see why it would be a crawfish in the defensive posture really good for heavy color cover there's not a lot of stuff on the side to hang it up it's going to slide in and out of a bush matted grass lay downs it catches some giant bass they come in a five inch four inch and a three inch. Four inch is the most popular, most common size. If you're going after a mega bass where there's a lot of big crayfish, a lot of big bluegill around, I do suggest go up to the five inch ones. Uh, rig it up with your favorite flipping hook and go to town. Number three, kind of a new bait, but now it's been out a few years. And personally, this is uh, one of my favorite flipping baits. This is the Missile Baits D-Bomb. Uh, John Cruz's company, John's an awesome guy, did a live stream with him, and he talks a lot about the D-Bomb and what makes it so good. Uh, I'll put a link to that as well up there, but the D-Bomb, very simple. It's got a wider body than many of these flipping baits, but it's super soft because of all these ribs here, and it makes it very easy to hide your hook point. Two really long tails uh, right here that imitate uh, your flappers, and two little bitty ones up on the side. And I'll tell you what I'll do sometimes, I'll actually pinch these off. That way when I flip it, I can actually swim this bait out of the bush if I don't get a bite on the initial fall. And a lot of times they'll grab it. Before we get to the next bait, I want to show you why I use this 4 aught grip pin flipping hook on the D-Bomb. Very simple. Uh, main reason is because of the keeper system. I'm going to go ahead and rig it up normally. Push it up to about right there on the hook. Go ahead and pull the point out. Pull this grip pin hook through the body. And you'll notice this grip pin has a little keeper. And this keeps your bait from wadding up on the shank of the hook when you set the hook. And it catches these little ribs perfectly on the D-bomb. Go ahead, push it up on the barb of the hook. And again, here's your ribs 
they will hide the point of the hook, but it's super soft, so when that bass bites, bing, hook point comes out, he gets hooked. You notice the top of the plastic doesn't wad up. If you want to catch a lot of fish on the D-bomb, that right there is the way to rig it. Number two, very popular bait, especially here on YouTube. And you know what's kind of crazy about that is I used to sell these, but not at the rate I am now. And a lot of that, I think, is because the secret is out. And this is such a good bait. And that is the Strike King Rage Tail Structure Bug. Very popular bait. I know Andrew Flair loves this bait. Millican Fishing loves this bait. I've seen it bed fishing. I've seen it on the back of jigs. But it is really good for flipping bushes. And this bait, again, beaver style bait. Has some extruded ribs. Uh, you do have arms on the side and these long rage tails that create that awesome swimming action. And I actually pull my tails apart uh, when I do use this bait. And a lot of times I'll actually pinch the arms off just to give it a more streamlined profile. You can put this on the back of a jig, you can put it on the back of a chatter bait, but for flipping and pitching, it is awesome. And you get plenty in a pack, great price, and they got so many awesome colors there from Rage Tail. That is number two. Now let's talk about number one. This bait right here, need I say more? This is the Reaction Innovation Sweet Beaver. This is the 420 size. Every bait I just showed you is basically spawned because of this bait right here. And this exact bait and this exact color just won the Bass Elite Series here on Kentucky Lake. Actually, let me take that back. It helped win because Wesley Strader used a variety of baits, but he caught a couple jaints on this one right here. This color is Tramp Stamp. It is a green pumpkin with a black and blue laminate. And the beaver, very small profile. It has this basically body, teardrop style, and a teardrop style tail that you can split apart. And then it's got these two appendages right here on the side. When this bait falls, it does not have crazy action. It just falls and kind of glides to the bottom. It just kind of falls like this right here. Really almost a do nothing, but there's something about this bait. When it falls in front of a fish, they absolutely eat it. Uh, lots of great colors uh, in these beavers. Personally, Tramp Stamp's one of my favorite. Check out Green Goby. Uh, Hematoma is a great one for dirty water. And Dirty Sanchez, when you've got that clearish kind of stained water, those are my favorites. I rig it up with a 4 aught flipping hook, your choice of hook. Uh, personally, I like the owner jungle hook myself. And if you're having some trouble uh, with these things tearing when you set the hook, if you will actually offset your hook point into the side of the bait right here, you'll catch a lot more fish and go through a whole lot less beavers. So. Anyway, that is number one, not a surprise to anybody. Guys, if you like the video, again, give me a thumbs up. Be sure to share the video, subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna be doing lots more videos this week. I'm off tomorrow, I'm taking a little break, and I'm gonna film tons of videos so you'll see a lot more stuff here on the channel, and it's almost ledge season. If you're ready, I'm ready. I'm ready to get out there offshore and show you some secrets that aren't on YouTube and bust some myths about offshore fishing. Guys, the bait man is now out.